All right, we're back. So now we've got pretty much all oh, much of the seven dresses we could possibly get. So now we're gonna do mini games. Oh yeah, we're gonna use all these fancy passports we've collected all the, throughout the course of the game to uh, actual fruition. We've already seen the casino passport in the works, so I don't need to. So I'm not really gonna show it to you again. So we're gonna use this drill passport. First. This is Mr. Holder's knight and shining uh, piece of work, the drill game. <laughs> All right. We won't stay here for very long. It's so fun, it's so fun, I want items, gimme, gimme! Wow. So, you can sell crap here, for money. But I ain't selling my, I ain't selling worth beans. Welcome to the Driller Game, your first time customer, correct? Please have your little passport verified the counter to your left. Yes. Hey, Holger! I see you again. Everything checks out. Thank you. Alright, explain the Driller Game. This is a sophisticated, intense, and exhilarating game. The object is to move the drill and destroy various objects. Of course, this game isn't simply about this destroying things, we have various items and rare prizes waiting for you. We eagerly await people with a serious passion for Julian to give this game a try. Only caught, only one game costs 200 gold. And they're not kidding, there are actually some pretty nice items you can get here. Nah, that's cool. I already know how to operate the drill, about the game modes. Two modes in drill the game. The first one is free mode. In this mode, you will A to rent, randomly place boxes and destroy them. This is a very popular mode. There is constantly play this mode, nor you get items that come out of the broken boxes. This is where you can obtain the drill key that allows you to access rare prizes. The second one is Mission Mode. In this mode, you can just get a special one-of-a-kind prize if you fill the conditions within the time limit. These highly difficult driller games missions are very popular among our veteran patrons. Some missions may be added later on, so come back and play periodically to see if you got any more games. Alright, that's pretty cool. But the prizes. Here at the Driller Game, we are proud to offer a large assortment of rare items. If you have a real passion for drilling, all of our prizes are yours for the taking. In free mode, there are some boxes with a drill key hidden inside. If you're lucky enough to get a drill key, please use it at the prize exhibit under the star-shaped neon drill sign. You may exchange one drill key for one prize. We also have deluxe prizes when you clear a game in mission mode. Please give it a try. Okie dokie. I suppose we'll give one game a try. That's cool. Uh, we'll do free mode. Start the game. Drill, go! Camera, set. There it is. Nice combo! There it is, that's free mode. You got an ether pack, an escape pack, and an antidote. For random rare I random items. Alright, we'll try a mission. Four, hang on. Sure! No! No! I wanted to hear the instructions! Fuck.
Oh, am I trying to hit this bunny? You're fucking insane! <laughs> I am trying to hit a rabid fucking bunny on. Oh shit, I did it. <laughs> How can my bunny lose? <laughs> Holy Anna! What should we give? We have that thing, remember? By that, you mean car just the other drilling championship? I, I should let you guys know, this is the very first time I've ever been tempted one of these sort of missions. Very first time. I just, like, did this on a whim. For you guys. A swimsuit! Fuck yes! I'll take it! Thanks! Oh, this is nice. Chaos, I have something for you. Giggity. And that is the drill passport. I guess we could show you other things, but I'm not really doing that. I'm not really doing that. No, if other people do that, maybe we should like bug other people on YouTube to do it. Not me. I already showed you I got a swimsuit out of it. I don't fucking care anymore. Because <laughs> now we're going to get to the good stuff. Time to try out the battle passport. We got this way back when. I particularly love this. The Apes battle system. This is where this is a this is a fun little mini game where you get to shoot things in an eggs. It's awesome. Forward is up, left. Right. Reverse! Break. Pivot left. Pivot right. Jump! Short dash. L3 or R3. Long dash. L3 and R3. Left weapon. L1, L2. Right weapon. R1, R2. Alt weapon. L1, R1, L2. R2. As both at the same time. Left weapon L, okay, L2 and R2. Funny. Okay, let's start this. I guess we'll be using eggs and shit that we've collected throughout the course of the game. We're gonna go with Shion's classic. So, unarmed. Fuck you! Sword. A machine gun, shield, shield. Get all equipped together. No! Yeah, bitches. Yeah, bitches! We're gonna do this! Round one! Ready? Fight! Okay, so the object of this minigame is to destroy the objects you see in front of you in a... in a sort of a real-time battle system. Yeah, bitch! I actually only played this kinda like, like, once or twice back in, back in my day. And it's a fun time killer! You get some items if you win, all the way through. And it's just for random fun. Whoa! Here, eat some of this, bitch! Yeah! Oh, I broke my sword. Fuck you. Eat the- eat shit and die! Oh, this is fun. Stage clear! So yeah, it's kinda like a mech battle arcade sort of thing. 
which is pretty damn fucking cool. Ah. Boost! Yeah, motherfucker! Where are you? I'm going to lose. Shield defense! We! We! There you are, hiding from me! You! You! Loose! Ready? Go! 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 No, I should... I should just, like, find some sound clips from Air Geese and just... And just splice that in here somehow. Air Geese is a fun game, just to, like, waste time with. It was the city of before the city, uh. At the same time it wasn't. At the same time it had Yo-Yo from the fucking Yoko. And she was awesome. I love Yo-Yo Yoko. Probably the only reason probably only one of the things I probably one of the only things that I care about in air keys. Everything else has varying degrees of niftiness in air keys. That's, that's a square soft game. This is a Mondle soft game, baby. Fighting max suits! <laughs> Hey! Hey! Wee! I'll shoot- I'll slash fuckers! Hey! Defense. Yeah, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, win! So yeah, I'm bad at this, but this is fun as hell. Oh god, the AG04. Oh my god, this thing is raping me! <laughs> I lost, like, not the way he's business. Ready? Go, go! I died like nobody's business. Wow. Game. I'm gonna try that again. That was fun. I'm sorry. We're trying that again. We use the age here too. The one that chaos comes in. We use guns this time. Go for it. Ready? Go! What? Flamethrowers. <laughs> yeah, bitch! Come on, arm now. Punch! We <laughs> Oh man, I'm having so much fun! Oh wow! <laughs> this is so much fun. Punch! <laughs> no, I'll give him your flamethrowers. <laughs> yeah, come on! No way! This is so fun, and there's so little reward you get out of this. Dying things. <laughs> Come on! Oh yeah! Now we're talking, baby! 
It's been offered to control all, all the May. But holy crap, this is fun. Strafe! Strafe, motherfucker! Do you eat it? Win! <laughs> Ready? Go, go, go! Oh my god, I'm raping this thing with guns. It's hilarious. How does it like to face yourself, huh? <laughs> this is so fun! <laughs> Leave it to the near the end game, we get to the get to the beat of the good stuff. Oh Xenosaga, how you trifle with many people. I think after the after the next game. Oh my god! Episode 2 is full of lols, guys. We have to do that next. Just remember, guys, I bought the I bought the second game. Just remember this. I bought the second game just so I can LP it. So in a way, this is your guys' fault. That's things like bazookas and shit. Whoa, hello. Yeah, eat double strafe. Woo! Chaos, your 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 eggs is full of manliness. I'm like raping shit on it. This is fun. Fight! Pew pew, bitch! Yeah! Where's your daddy? You're a mechanical, you don't have one. Whoa, yeah! Come on. I'm out of gun! I'm out of gun on my left! Soon I'll be out of gun on my right. Can I beat him before I'm out of gun on my right? Haha! <laughs> that was great. Go, go! Alright, we're fighting Shions. Where is it? Oh! There you are, jumping around like a, like a lolly. Spring chicken! <laughs> strafe! Strafe! Motherfucker! Do you speak it? I bet someone's gonna be in like in the comments. This is what Xenosaga should have been. A fucking shooter. A fucking shooter with the mechs. That's all it should have been. <laughs> Incorporate the story and then just add mech suits. And then suddenly it becomes super robotizing. Well, it's not that far of a stretch anyway. I mean. Cosmos has found our way in Endless Frontier, even though that's not te technically not a Super Robot Tyson game. I haven't gotten damaged at all in that round, that's sad. Yeah, that was it. Chaos is eggs! My god. <laughs> I thought you want something out of it, oh well. That was awesome!
Oh man, that was just pure win. Alright, and now for the last one we're gonna do. And my personal favorite. The card passport. Yes, indeedy, ladies and gentlemen, Xenosaga comes equipped with a card game! A card game! And, interesting enough, it's very, it's a very good one. I love like playing Xeno card all of my spare time. Xeno card is pretty interesting. We're pretty much gonna go through go through a game, and I'll show, I'll teach you guys how it works as we go along. So let's open the random random premium cards. Hey, buddy. Chaos. Right, you have the regular game where you can select exhibition, tournament, two-player battle, or change the background. There's Shia on Cosmos, and there's without, just the VX, 10,000, the cast of characters, the vector logo, and Shia and her eggs. Space, the final frontier. Bye, yes! I gotta remember how to play this. It shouldn't be too hard. I know how to play. I pretty much know how to play most of uh, Xeno Card, and I, in my my cleared file, I actually have a sizable deck. Alright, let's just play a random game. Exhibition. You basically pick a deck, and then just pick and you pick and you pick a random deck for the AI to use. With varying degrees of ownage. Alright, on the opening phase you get to choose you get to draw up to six cards. You can't have more than six cards in your hand. And if you do, you have to discard them. When the game starts, you're allowed to either keep the hand you have, or exchange it for something else. Exchange. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Then you draw. As you go along, you'll notice that we're going through random phases. First you draw first you have the draw phase where you just draw a card. Then you have the move phase where you move a card you've set on the battlefield. Then you have event cards in which you place them. In which certain events happen during during a card for each card, and they take effect in this phase. Then you have the set. Then you have set phase, when you set cards on the standby so you can move them onto the battlefield in the move phase. Then you have block phase, where you can use certain items to block, or certain cards to block certain other cards that your opponent may use. The battle phase, where the battle actually goes down. Adjust phase where the game sort of sets itself, and then your opponent, then your turn ends there. Now, how battles work?
basically you have four different types of battle of uh, fighting fighting styles: hand, ho uh, ballistic, homing, and spread. Hand allows the play allows the card to attack whatever the hell is in front of it. Ballistic goes right for the deck. The object of the game, object of Xeno card, is to destroy the opponent's deck entirely. Wait, no. Excuse me. Nah, I'm thinking of homing. Homing goes right for the deck. Ballistic attacks straight in the line and will hit whatever the hell's in front whatever is in front of it. Regardless of whatever whatever's in range. As with with as for hand, they can only hit whatever what's directly in front of it. Homing goes right for the deck, and spread does not damage does not go for the deck at all. But instead attacks the whole the entire field. Now there are five different types of uh, battle card of uh, regular battle cards. Human, Realian, Gnosis, Mech, and Other. Each of them having their own special unique characteristics. For example, human cards are pretty pretty respectable. They don't they have regular abilities, and they have certain co and some of them have certain effects and respectable costs. Realian cards are weak, but they have a special rule attached to them. Normally, no care. No, normally you cannot set a card. You cannot set more than one particular card of a certain type. Particular type on the field, but Realian cards you can set as many as you want, and during a particular turn. Mech cards require a hefty cost, but are usually very powerful. Gnosis cards will pretty much require humans to play with. <clears throat> Excuse me. But in the end, it can be devastatingly powerful in the right hands. And I do mean devastatingly powerful. Other cards have some have some has some random quirks that makes them interesting, like chaos over there, for example, 
regains 2 HP every every time every, every uh, passing adjust phrase on the player's side. As I've said, you have to the, tar the object of Xenocar is to dest completely destroy your opponent's deck. Which is easier for some to do and harder for others. I guess I'll show you how a card works. See, you've got your card, any special effects they may have, HP, attack, attack type, the amount of costs, and the and its commodity. You've got common, uncommon, and rare cards. If a card if a card has a cost. You have to pay that many cards from your deck to your to your lost pile, and you cannot get those back. And any wasted cards in particular just go right to your junk pile. Some cards may also have certain requirements. In order to be deployed, like this mech. Like this drone, you need to have at least one human on already on the field in order to place it. Oh boy. Yeah, look, I drew another drone. Right now, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, fuck you. Never mind! Well, I got rid of Chaos, so it's cool. There's Shion. Shion and Cosmos going together usually work pretty damn well together. This can deal two damage to anything on the field when you have a mech on the field. Kill things. Caught you! Pew! Hi, Shion. Oh, sometimes you can. Character cards are pretty damn overpowered. And which, once you get them, once you get those bad boys on the field, oh, prepare for rape.
usually most equipped cards don't the, aren't aren't affected by the one card per uh, one card per set rule, which is handy. Get out of here, Kosos. Now they're getting cards back. I might lose. Herp. No, there goes my ace in the hole. I pretty much hope you got a uh, Xeno card down. It yes, it is as complicated as I, as I make it sound. So not really. You'll get used to it. I did. Astiff. Hammer is special. He gets attack points for every every mech card on the field on his side, which, as you can probably guess, is very fucking annoying. Fully restores a human's HP. Ah! They gain cards as that thing goes. I am so fucked. Sacrifice. Why do they have two? The effect can't be stacked. Okay, those are situational cards. Uh, they, as you can see, they add extra effects to, to the battle. I wanna stop. I lost this. Oh yeah, there. There's Xeno card for you. I hope you got on how it works. If you want me to show off more, say so. I will happy. I'll be, I'll be happy to show off more. I actually like playing Xeno cards, so I wouldn't. So I wouldn't mind having, showing you some more of that if you if you guys requested it. I'll do that on my own time though. Whatever the case. 
There, I've shown you all the mini games. Now, I gotta show you the super bosses. <laughs>